up everybody, it's Rodney Rock. Today we're featuring something that should be on everyone's food bucket list. A Las Vegas buffet. Welcome to Food Corn Friday. So in the last Food Porn Friday, we got to showcase one of the meccas of Thai cuisine in America. Lotus of Siam in Las Vegas, a medium-sized restaurant in an unassuming strip mall about 10 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip. But if you ask most people what word they'd use to describe Sin City, not many of them would use unassuming. Vegas is over the top, sensationalized and glamorized like no other city in the United States. And all of those characteristics of Vegas are embodied in one of the most popular buffets on the strip, the Wicked Spoon at the Cosmopolitan. On our visit, we were able to film the breakfast slash lunch service of the Wicked Spoon. And even then, I was blown away by not only the quantity of their offerings, but the quality of them. Things like chefs prepping eggs benedict to order, a salad bar composed with individual salads, Meat prepared and sliced right in front of you at a dessert station with all you can eat gourmet gelato. It was amazing. <laughs> the selection of meats were to die for. Roast beef, sausages, chicken tikka. But my personal favorite was the slab bacon sliced to order in thick and juicy cuts. All seasoned with just the right amount of salty sweetness. I literally got to try a little bit of everything at the restaurant. And things that are normally afterthoughts at other buffets are prepared with just as much care and attention to detail as main courses. For example, I gorged myself on at least two or three of the small little Caesar salads. They're prepped in individual bowls, the lettuce is fresh and crispy, it was dressed perfectly, and each little bowl was topped with this little itty bitty anchovy. Just delicious. Another thing that I went back to over and over and over again was the all-you-can-eat roasted bone marrow with kimchi sauce. They gave us little crispy, crunchy crostinis that were lightly buttered, and it blew my mind that these crostinis were the most perfectly toasted crostinis I've ever had in my life. And they were just the vessels for getting this rich and creamy umami bomb of bone marrow into your mouth. Oh my god, it was so good and there was so much of it. Okay, so on to dessert. Usually, desserts at buffets are pathetic attempts to close out a meal. But Vegas knows nothing soothes the soul quite like sweet treats. The Wicked Spoon delicately crafted petite sweets of cakes, cookies, eclairs, brownies, and even truffles for after you've stuffed your face with endless amounts of food. At the end of the meal, they know that you're way past hungry. So their desserts are small, but they pack a lot of sweet, heavenly bliss to send you back to your hotel smiling. I definitely believe that everyone should go and eat at a Las Vegas buffet. Get there at the start of service and pace yourself. Seriously, go for the marathon. Take hours to enjoy your feast and you will not be disappointed. If you're interested in checking out the Wicked Spoon, I'll leave all of their info in the description down below. A special shout out to my homie Deke Speaks. He's one of the good ones on the internet, so if you haven't already, go and check out his channel. He's been doing some really good things on it lately. If you want to see any more, you can click on any of these annotations to my left, your right, or tap on one of the links that I've left you in the description below. Please share this video with a friend, tag people that you care about, and until next time, I'll holla at you.